Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be speaking to you today about how to work with templates and themes in Zoho campaigns. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com with any questions related to this subject or anything else related to Zoho. Also be sure to rate this class in our video library to help fellow Zoho users as well as to help us improve the content of our library. Here are some of the key points to take away from this video. Uh, first, templates are used to design emails and newsletters. And Zoho Campaigns comes with many predefined templates, or you can upload your own. And themes are used to design the headers and footers that appear when the email is sent. So let's go into Zoho now, and I can show you what, what we need to do. So the first thing you need to do is to, to create or work with your template is to have a campaign. So you can choose to either create a campaign from this dashboard, it's the third button, or you can go on the black menu bar to campaigns, choose regular campaigns, and then there are some sample ones here, or you can choose create campaign. And um, the first thing you need to do is just put in um, some information and I'm just going to call this something here. I'm going to do this quickly because really what we want to get to is the content and this part of what I'm doing is, will be co is covered in another video about campaigns. So I'm going to call this welcome and I'm going to personalize it so I'm going to choose the subscribers first name. I'm going to um, choose to have this come from whoever owns the account and any replies will also go to whoever owns the account. Click next. And now if you look at the top, you can see we're in the content section. And there's several options. You have predefined, you have your templates based on anything that you've worked with and saved already. You have pre-designed templates, and these um, have a number of different categories. You can either do the drop down or you can scroll, business, seasons, holidays, welcome. Um, and within each of these, you can click the show more and see more of what's in here. Um, if we go back out of this though, moving a little slow today. Um, you can also pick basic templates and these are ones where you would really start from scratch and put your own information into them. So I'm going to start with one of these just to show you the things you can do with this. So I'm going to choose this, this template which here you can see they're telling you before you use it. It's going to have an image at the top then it's going to have a heading where it says heading here and then you can put some text, a button, um, and then the social media widgets at the bottom. So I'm going to say use this template. And then when I'm in here, obviously I need to start doing some editing. And what Zoho Campaigns does is it gives you a lot of information, a lot of um, very easy to use ways to edit this or to add in more information. So on the black on the left, you have basic and advanced as your tabs. And within basic, you have text, you have image spacer, um, divider, image and text button. We'll go into some of these. And then under advanced, you have widgets, which is the social media widgets, dynamic, where you can add in specific text, attachments, polls, etc. And then along the top, you have um, information about formatting. So if we go in here, I'm just going to go back to basic on the left, but I'm going to start in the template we have, and I'm going to click on the image. And then what I'm going to do is I can upload an image from the computer or I have one that I've already uploaded here um, and I'm going to choose this image and then choose save and then you can see we have this image here. Then we can go in and you can see the, the, Im the, the section you're working in is always going to be outlined in orange. So the next thing I need to do is come in and change my heading and what I can do here is highlight it and I'm going to say welcome to XYZ company. And I want to, I think I want to bold this so I can highlight it the way you wouldn't know any word processing application. And then I can go to the top and click on the B for bolding. If I wanted to underline it, also I can do that as well. If I wanted to change the alignment, I can make it go to the left, I can make it go to the right or I can make it go to the center, which I'm going to leave it as. Um, and then I have the text section. I can make some changes there. 
What I also wanted to show you when you're in a section, you have some options. You can clone it if you click on the, the um, second icon. If I wanted to have the same thing twice and then I can make a little bit of edits, I'm going to trash that because I don't need to do that. The other thing you can do is you have the up and down arrows. If I wanted to move this up, maybe I wanted to move this up and have it be above the image. I could do that as well. I can move it down anywhere I want. So I'll leave it at the top for now and then have the image. And then what I'll have is the text here and I can go in and change this text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, welcome to XYZ company. You will enjoy accessing our services. Leave it at that. Um, maybe just XYZ company here. I want to bold, so I'm going to do I'm going to do that here. And then maybe maybe now I'm realizing you know what I really need to have another text box another text box. I have more text that I want to add. So what you can do is go and you can click on the text. And then you can choose the format that you want. Do you want it to be more of a header or more text? I'm going to choose the paragraph form. And then I'm going to slide it over. And then you can see those arrows. I can decide where I want it to be. So I want this to be a second paragraph. So I'm going to put it over here. And then I'm going to say, um, here is more information about our services, dot, dot, dot. Let's say I wanted to change the font. I can highlight this and again go up to the top where it says Ariel and I can um, choose a different one. So I'm going to cho choose this one here and then maybe, you know, now that I have this here, I want to go up to my first text box and I want to change the size of this because I want this to be a little bit bigger. I can go and do that as well. And you can go, if you go back into the basic, you can add in um, more information just by all you do is click on it choose the format based on the options there, and you slide it in. I'm not going to add another one now. But if I go back, so now I have the, the line, you know, some editing, and it doesn't look exactly like the template we picked because we've done the editing. Next, we have the button name. And if you look on the left, we have button as one of the options. And a button is what you want to have if you want um, your user to click on this to take another action. I'm going to click on the, the button. Um, and then... I can do what I want there. I can clone it, which I don't need to do. Okay. But if I click on the button, then I want to click here at the top on button properties. And I want to edit this button. And I want to change this to be um, click here for your free downloads. Um, I can enter in um, the URL that I want, and I'm going to just do www.xyz.com. And if I wanted to, I can personalize this as well um, in various ways, but I'm not going to do that. And just to look at the top, right now we're in the URL section where the orange box is. We could also choose to make this an email, so it links to an email, um, an anchor, or make it to call on a phone, but we're going to leave it at the URL for now. And then you have the, uh, the option here under target to choose to have this open in a new window or to keep it in the same window. And I'm going to make it go to a new window so that we don't, the, the user doesn't lose this, um, this, this window if they ended up opening in their browser. And I'm going to do save. And now you can see that it changed, um, it changed the content of what I had here. If I go into, um, button categories. I can also click design and here's where I can change the width, the style, all of that. Um, maybe I want it to be more curved and then that makes it more curved as well and I can save that. And then here's where this, the, the social media widgets are and where you would find that if you wanted to add it in you would go to the advanced tab and then you would choose widgets and then you can choose whether you want to have the icons be circles or whether you want them to be squares. But I'm going to move out of this since I already have them in here. And then what I'm going to do instead is edit these. So these are here now, but if I go here to the top in the black bar, there's a um, an option for widget properties. And I can go in if I wanted to change something or if I wanted to add something. And maybe we'll add Instagram in here. Add Instagram here. 
um, do next. And then I can choose, do I want that text in there or do I want just the icons? I'm going to keep the text in there. And then I can choose which way it's going to align as well. Um, if I want it in the center, if I want it to the left, I'm going to leave it in the um, in the center. And then you have icon styles. And you can see that there's different um, ways that these icons can show up. They can be in color. They can be gray. They can be in black and white. I'm going to choose to have them um, stay with the color. And then you can click Finish. And now you can see we added the Instagram. We made this in color. Um, and all that. And if we wanted to, we can add in some other options, um, like we said before, and we can always move this information if we want to into different, um, using the arrows, move it. But for now, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to preview and test it. Click on the preview and test at the top. And you can see on the left, you have a campaign preview. And the themes which we'll get into are related to this can't read or see images, view this email in a browser. That's the header. And then if you scroll down within this, the information where this was sent by support at Mark's group, that's the footer. And when we get into themes, you can see how we can make changes to that. And you have two options here. Right now we're looking at this as if it's on the computer. And then you can click um, near, near the HTML, you can click the mobile, like a phone, and you can see what this will look like on a phone. So you can decide if you want to make any edits. And then you have HTML as the option, or text, which um, obviously doesn't look as graphic and as attractive. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then you have the option on the right with test email. You can send this email to up to five email addresses, and you can select it as either HTML or text or both, um, so that you can then get the test email and see whether you want to make any changes to this. Right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and save and proceed. And then you can see here there's an error. Um, if I was really sending this, I would have to do something about my image because it's um, too big and it could result in some problems with people opening this. Um, but for now, I'm going to keep this here. Um, here is, again, um, what this looks like. And then here is where you, this step of the process, still part of content, where you're going to choose your theme. And the themes could be either something that's predefined, um, or you can create your own, or you can choose to not have a theme. I'm going to choose the Zoho Campaigns one for now. And then when you scroll up, at here, this part at the top, the header, right above the heading, and then at the very bottom below the icons um, for the social media, you have your footer. Um, and then again, you can preview and test if you want to. You can edit the content if you wanted to. Then you would click Next. And then this is where you would then select the, um, the list, subscriber list that you want to send this to. I'm just going to choose one for now, um, since again, we go through more of a video for this. And then the next step would be verifying everything in here before it would be sent. But I'm just going to save this for now. Because I want to go in and, and then you can see here, this is now, you can see what the email, um, what the template looks like. But now I just want to go in and show you one more thing related to templates. If you go down towards the bottom on the black bar and hit settings, and you go to customization and hit header and footer, this is where you can um, change the theme. So you have my themes, um, and here are the themes we have, the Zoho campaigns theme, a sample theme, um, a new theme for video. And then um, you can, we only have these in here, but I'm going to cl click on Add New just to show you how easy it is to create a, a header and footer theme. Um, you can either collect, select a new theme or you can clone an existing theme. Um, but again, we, um, we want to create a new one. And then you would call it um, Sample Video Theme. theme. And you, if you want, you can set this as a default, so it's automatically the first one that shows up. And then you choose a template here as well for the theme. And the one you choose, you can see the orange box with a check if you want this one. Um, the net, you know, We have a few we can choose from. Um, so I'm going to choose just demonstration, show you. you can, once you choose another one, the check goes there, and it's not on the top one anymore. And then you want to click Create. And then the header... 
this part here where it says can't read or see images, view in email in the gray box, that's what the header is going to look like. And you can make some options. You can turn the header on or off. You can make changes to this. Can you read? I can change this to can't read or see this images. Maybe you want to add in. I don't know. I'm sorry. And you can see that's adding um, up on the top. And then view email in this browser is a hyperlink, and you can choose what to do. And again, here you can change um, the font of this, uh, and then you can see it changes up in the box. You can make it bigger if you want. Um, you can make it make it more obvious. You can um, you know make a few different changes to it. Um, and then you can do the same with the view email browser. Um, let's say again, make this much bigger did that as well. And then you see how we have the gray border around this. You can change the border, uh, the border size. Let's say I want to make it really bigger. And as you can see, it's now much bigger than it was. Uh, and then I want to say save and proceed. And then you want to then click on the top tab here and choose footer. We were originally in header, which is the orange. Now we've moved over to the footer. And here we can take this um, and make any changes that we want. So customization, we can decide if we want the footer logo. Uh, we can upload the company logo um, if we wanted to. We can upload something else here. We can put the we can click on each of these and then decide, and this all matches up to the text we have above. Um, if we want them to be able to unsubscribe, we can choose how we do that, and that's the second line here. Sender and rece recipient data is the top line in the box. Um, privacy policy, right now this is not turned on. We can turn it on, and then you can see that that shows up as well. I'll turn it off again so you can see the difference. Company details. That just shows where we have Mark's Group Live in Pennsylvania. Imprint details, if we wanted to include some of this. Social profile, maybe we wanted to include our Facebook link um, or a LinkedIn link um, or one of those, and those can show up as well. And then again, the footer logo, um, where we can choose this as well. So I'm not going to make any of the changes here, but I can check Save and Proceed here. And then if we save this as a draft. Then we can see that we have this ready to go. Um, we can go into, uh, I think I did sample video theme. That's the one I did. I can then decide that I want to use it. Uh, and make it, a, you know, the default if I want to, all of that. And then when you go back out to settings, um, maybe we go back into campaigns now, go back to the campaign we had. This is the one we just created. And if we want to edit, we can, um, we can then go in here. And then we can see we can always make some changes to this as well. So let's go back um, and talk about what our key takeaways were. Um, as a refresher to make sure that we understand that. And as our takeaways were, templates are used to design the emails and newsletters. And as I showed you, Zoho Campaigns has many predefined templates that you can upload, uh, or you can upload your own. And even with the predefined templates, you can make as many changes to those as you want. And then finally, themes are used to design the headers and footers, and that you would do as well, um, so that you can tell people if they want to go to a browser or if they want to unsubscribe, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our training library for other videos like this one. And if you have any suggestions for other classes or videos or any questions about Zoho, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.